It's always interesting when new findings go against a textbook definition. A group of researchers recently found a subset of the population that could smell despite missing an important brain region. Researchers in Israel discovered this by chance. They were conducting a totally different study involving imaging people's brains using an MRI when they saw that one participant was missing her olfactory bulbs. The olfactory bulbs are these structures near the front of the brain that are important for processing smell. Essentially, odors are mapped onto these olfactory bulbs such that the brain somehow reads those odors and processes them. So we know, you know, a rose smells like a rose and coffee smells like coffee. When they asked the woman if she was able to smell, she said, yeah, she had a great sense of smell. So they thought this was kind of strange. If you're missing these olfactory bulbs, you should lack the ability to smell. To pursue this further, the researchers decided to recruit more people, all women and all left-handed like the original participant. And in the ninth scan that they did, they discovered another woman who was missing her olfactory bulbs but could smell perfectly fine. They performed even more brain scans and smell tests on the two women and the third woman who was also missing her olfactory bulbs but who had a lifelong inability to smell. They found, as expected, that third woman who couldn't smell uh, performed poorly on the smell test while the other two women performed similarly to how people with their olfactory bulbs perform. Finally, they decided to search through a larger database that was already pu published called the Human Connectome Project. And they looked through a bunch of MRIs and the database had also published information on whether or not these people had a good sense of smell. And again, they found a couple of women who could smell despite missing their olfactory bulbs. One of those women was left-handed. The researchers don't really know why they saw this magical ability to smell despite missing these important brain structures only in women, and specifically only in women with, who are left-handed. And they also don't really know what's happening at the level of the brain, but they have a couple of theories. The first is that during the first five years of the brain's development, and their brains were really malleable and still developing, it figured out a way to smell despite not having these structures. So another part of their brain took over the task of smelling. The sort of more exciting alternative, according to the researchers, is that the olfactory bulbs might not do what we think they do. They could be important in smell, but maybe they are important in one aspect of smell and not the other. For example, when mammals smell something, they have to make two decisions. Where is the smell coming from? And what is the smell? Maybe the olfactory bulbs help us to understand where the smell is coming from, but not what the smell is. But again, this is all speculative and researchers don't really know what's happening at the level of the brain to allow these people to smell despite missing these important brain structures. The group now hopes to conduct more studies to see if this ability exists in a larger subset of the population.